How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be continuing working on our game manager inside of our TNT tag and once again all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub so go over there and check it out because it'll all be there. So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing the explosion countdown in the lobby countdown. Um, if this isn't already done, I don't totally know, um, cause I haven't looked at it again. Um, but yeah, so the first thing we're going to want to do here in our, in our run, uh, excuse me, is we don't actually need to do this for every player. So we can actually pull this out. We're going to delete that and we're going to keep this this out statement here we're actually gonna put the four down here so what I was doing is I was running this whole thing for every player but we don't need to do that um, so we just need to go ahead and say if explosion countdown is greater than zero and then we want to equal explosion countdown uh, equal to countdown minus one or you can do explosion countdown uh, I believe it's minus equals one um, and that will also work and then inside of here we actually want to go ahead and we're gonna need another one of those and we'll delete this there we go all right so then we're gonna want to go ahead and say player uh, let me just take these headphones off player scoreboard dot score game and it's going to be a player and then this is going to be oh, explosion countdown not sure why that didn't come up there um, but yeah okay and then in our else here we are going to go ahead and say if plugin dot players in game dot size is equal equal to one we're going to do something players there we go so what we're going to go ahead and say is we're going to say player player equals plugin dot players in game dot get zero um because that person will literally only be the one will be the only person left in this array list um so they're just going to be at point zero we don't have to go through some really crazy complicated uh, way to figure out who is the last player in the uh, array list and then we're just gonna go ahead and send them a message we're just gonna say player dot send message we're going to say I'm gonna do it the lazy way uh, and a you have won you have been rewarded in gold 100 coins cons Alright, All right, so now that we have that, and then we're going to also need um, to go ahead and say for player online and then bucket dot get online players. We want to just say uh, GameStop for online because we want the game to be completely over for everybody that is on the server, not just the winner. And then we want to set everybody on the server back to their original states. Um, so that way when they join other games and the lobbies or whatever their stuff is not there um, You should always do basically a Reset of every character on the start and end of every game mode um, just for precautions And then we also want to go down here because we're still inside our else and then we want to say this dot cancel and this dot return sorry if you hear all of my notifications there Our right then we want to say if it is um, so we're ending this if statement here because we're saying um, if it is equal to one somebody's one and we need to reset everybody and then stop this countdown and then we need to say else and this is where we're going to just move these up to here we're going to say 
explosion countdown uh, you can set this equal to whatever you want whatever it's set to up here so ours is 30 so every 30 seconds the explosion will go off uh, and then we want to say then we're going to run the TNT check uh, we don't need player or yes we do need player let's see what do we got going on here so let's just get rid of player because uh, the way I have it written here I don't need it and then we are just going to say bucket dot get server dot broadcast message and we are going to say and C boom and then we will go ahead and say and E players have been exploded and we will say and C TNT and E has been placed and now uh, you could do this in your TNT placer um, it doesn't particularly matter where you put it um, it probably would make more sense in there um, so maybe we'll go ahead and do that after this then we're just going to go to our game mechanics and we're going to run our TNT placer uh, which currently has nothing inside of it because we don't have to do anything yet with that well we will um, we just don't have anything to do with it yet all right, so then we got these here, um, so we'll just, uh, just clear those out. All right, so we actually have to do TNT check and TNT placer. Oof, we have a lot to do. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to head over here to our lobby countdown. Kind of the same concept here. Um, we're going to go ahead and say if lobby is a greater, if lobby countdown is greater than zero, we are actually going to say player check. And then plugin dot players in game dot size because uh, again we don't necessarily want to check uh, this just the server and we actually don't need to put that there we actually need to say if this is equal to true then we will go ahead. Or actually, we do need to uh, we do need to run this just because if you look here, um, it actually will start doing things. So we do need to we do need to run that. Um, where did I just leave off? Here we go. And we'll just end that there. We're gonna be missing one of those bad boys. So we're saying if it is equal to true. Oops, there we go. If it's equal to true, player check. Uh, player check is a Boolean. I'm not sure why. Oh, probably because I got rid of the dot size. Yep, dot size. All right, so if it is equal to true, we are going to say lobby countdown equal to lobby countdown minus one. And then we want to say bucket dot get server dot broadcast message. And now you guys can make your own sort of uh, your own sort of message manager. I would really recommend it so you don't have to keep doing bucket dot get server dot broadcast message. You can just say you know mass message, and then you know dot good bad um, whatever. Um, that's just something that I would particularly do. Um, I'm not going to do it for this just because it's kind of useless just for this one single video um, but I probably will make a tutorial on it if I haven't already uh, I don't really know what I've made tutorials on to be honest um, but then we're just gonna want to say a game will start in we'll just say F plus lobby countdown plus seconds and then we want to go ahead and say for player online and we're going to say bucket dot get online players and we are going to say player dot play sound oops not player online dot play sound um, this is going to just be a way for them uh, to sort of understand uh, that the countdown is starting um, so we just want it to be a note block pling and we'll just set it to two two 
Um, so what we had to do there is we just did the online.place sound. We had to get their location for our first variable. Second variable is the sound we want, and then these are volume and I believe pitch, um, from what I remember. Which one is which? I honestly cannot tell you because I don't really remember, um, but I know that one is one of each. And um, then we're just going to say else bucket server broadcast message. I know, really monotonous. And we'll say and e a player. Actually, we'll just say and we'll do that just so we can be plural if needed. Left until f. Uh, oops, and we are just going to make this message saying that there's not enough players, so we're just going to say players needed, plus, and we're just going to say, and E, players are online, that, until X number of players are online, the game will not start. Pretty, pretty simple, right? I would think so. You need a certain number of players in order to play a game. Um, then we're just going to say this dot cancel because we want to cancel the lobby countdown after. Um, we want to cancel if there's not enough players. And then we just want to set it equal to six. Uh, you really just want to set it equal to whatever value you have up here. So minus 10, actually. Um, so we're just going to put this as 10. Um, you should make a config of all these numbers. Um, just so that way you can change it and you don't have to go back through all your code to find every time you set a certain value equal to something. Um, me, I'm just being very, very, not necessarily sloppy, but not very uh, careful in particular. And we can get rid of this because we do not need that anymore. And then we have our else statement here, which goes to this. And so if countdown is less than zero we are going to say we're going to have this dot cancel and we'll actually just throw that in first just to be safe we'll do the game start and then we'll say uh, bucket dot get server dot broadcast message we will just put this in nice I believe green letters google luck good luck and we will just end that we'll put that there and we have everything that we need now everything is done inside of this game manager class uh, we are at 12 minutes so I guess what we'll do is we'll actually go over to our game mechanics here um, and let's just do the TNT check because um, the player TNT or not the player TNT check um, Oh yeah, sorry, the player TNT check, because um, this is uh, pretty pretty small for the most part. So we're just going to say four, um, and this is going to check every time the count the explosion countdown ends. This TNT check is going to be run, and then whatever player has uh, TNT on them, or well, with our player manager, um, whatever player has TNT, um, they will be exploded. So pretty pretty neat. So we're just going to say four player manager player manager and this is going to be plugin dot player manager dot values we want to just go ahead and say if player manager dot is has TNT equal to true we want to go ahead and set the pl their player manager to set has TNT equal to false because they no longer have it because they're going to be dead uh, and then we want to go ahead and say player manager dot set is dead to true because they're going to be dead and we want to say player player equals bucket dot get player because we want to create a new player for them and then this is just going to be uh, player manager dot get uuid because um, we want to set their we want to do a certain things to the particular player uh, we want location player location equals player dot get location and then we want to go ahead and create an explosion so we want to say player dot get or player location dot get world dot create explosion 
and then we want to go ahead and say player location dot get x and then we will just copy this to get y get x get z so this will change to get y get x get z and then this one will go to one false false now we need that one false false because um, what that is allowing us to do is that is allowing us to make it so there's no flames and make it so there is no uh, block damage and then we just want to go ahead and say player dot set player list name and we will just change that back to white or actually you know what we will set it to gray because they're dead so they're in spectator mode uh, and then we will just say player dot get name oops we don't want that inside there and then we have to do a couple more things here we just have to go ahead and get their inventory so player dot get inventory dot set helmet and we will just set it to null and then we want to go ahead and get their health so we want to set their health to 20 even though they really shouldn't have lost any health we're just not really gonna, we're gonna just get rid of that and we want player dot set game mode to game mode dot spectator so that way they can't do anything and then we want to go ahead and say plugin dot players in game dot remove and then we just want to remove player so we're actually going to just pull this one all the way up here because I think it should be all the way up here. Oh, not this far. Um, just under this right here. Because um, we want to do this as soon as possible. That way uh, there is no sort of latency or, or mishap at all. So that is all I got for you guys in this video. Come back next time and we will finish up mm, these game mechanics, I believe. I have to just make a couple minor touches on the actual plugin itself, and it should be all ready to finish coding out for you guys. Um, but once again, thank you so much for watching. Sorry these videos are kind of long. I try to get as much in as I can in the shortest amount of time. This one's probably about 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And comment, like, and subscribe.